Clint Hoekstra reporting on scene for the Keep Times. We're here just north of the Alberta Legislature grounds for the Enough is Enough rally. This is a bunch of people who are not happy with Danielle Smith, the Premier here in Alberta, and the fight she's picked with the provincial governments around the country, and her insistence on oil and gas being the primary industry of this province. We'll talk to a few people here, see how they feel about the UCP, which is the United Conservative Party, Daniel Smith's party, which is currently in power in Alberta, and see what they think needs to be done. It's hard. We're angry. But you know what gives me hope? All of you showing up. And so when people ask us, when people ask us, what can we do? How can we stop these guys? I, I often, you probably do as well, we often have to, have to be the bearer of bad news to say that, you know, the next election actually isn't until 2027. I know, I'm sorry. Don't, and, and in fact, it's even later now because the UCP have extended it until the fall. Anyways, that's a whole other thing. But when people ask us, what can we do? How can we stop this government? You can do exactly what you're doing. You can show up. You can speak out, you can write. I love getting angry rants on, on social media, but I love it even more when you say, I'm gonna throw this into an email to the Premier, to the NDP, and I'm gonna get all my friends to write and call and show up as well. So I'm here today with? Janice Irwin. What brings you here today? Uh, well, I'm an MLA, so I have the uh, honor of working in the Alberta Legislature, and I represent Edmonton Highlands Norwood, and I'm here today because I wanted to join these hundreds and hundreds of Albertans who are saying enough is enough to the UCP. So that means you have the honor of working with Danielle Smith. I do, I do, and uh, some days are harder than others, but as I said in my speech today, um, you know, we've got a lot of things that we need to keep fighting for, so we're focused on that. And what do you think the most important of those things are? Oh gosh, I don't think you can, in fact, I didn't even speak about the one issue that's kind of top of mind for me in my speech, and that's housing. I mean, I'm the housing critic, and the reality is so many Albertans are at risk of losing their homes, um, that are, so many Albertans are experiencing skyrocketing rent increases, and uh, we've got more on house folks than we uh, ever have on our streets, right? So that's a big one, but I mean, you know, the list goes on, health care, um, attacks on research and academia. Um, what would you say the UCP government has done to, let's say, not help the housing issue the most? Oh, the most. Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, the reality is that, you know, we are still a wealthy province and we shouldn't have 3,000 people alone on the streets of Edmonton, right? The wealthiest. Uh, right, exactly. And um, the numbers are just growing. And so, you know, they will say that they're investing in housing. They're not doing enough. They, they, we need we need um, affordable housing, but we also need permanent supportive housing. The type of housing that offers supports for folks, wraparound services, mental health, cultural supports, uh, and everything that's needed to, to house people and keep them housed. So that's one example, the, the deep investments that are needed. Fair enough. And do you have a message to Albertans for today? Just, you know, I'm so proud to see so many people showing up. And as I said to the crowd, you need to keep showing up. You need to talk to your neighbours and you need to encourage them to, to, to keep being present, keep being visible because we really can build a better future, but it's going to take all of us. Uh, at the University of Alberta and at the University of Calgary, uh, both university presidents authorized the police in both cities to violently attack youth. They violently attacked people at the crack of dawn while some slept in tents. I'm here today with... Uh, Kathy Olaf Webster. And David Webster. What brings you all here today? We had to be here a part of this. I'm, we've been on Twitter for so long, um, fighting back against the UCP, that we just felt we couldn't sit on the couch anymore. We had to come down and, and meet similar-minded people, too. And you came a long way. Yeah, it's about three and a half hours. But uh, it's also a weekend away. We hardly yeah. ever get south, so... <laughs> so you guys came from where? Uh, Cold Lake. Yeah. Interesting. And how is that? How is Cold Lake this time of year? Cold. It's actually colder than it is here. A little year. bit behind as far as the... As far as the trees budding and that sort of thing, so it's uh, about a week or two. Yeah. So other than that, it's basically the same. But Fair I was going to say the thing about the rural areas. It's really hard being a progressive thinking person and living in like Fort Mac or Bonneville or Cold Lake because oh, so conservative up there. They're so conservative. You're a military town in Cold Lake too, yes. yeah? Yeah, mili definitely about half military. A lot of First Nations people and then oil workers, right? So. But it's so, without Twitter, without organizations like this, we would be so depressed. So it's really good to be here and talk to people. Privatize, privatize, no, no, no. 
I'm here today with uh, Brad LaFortune, Carrie McEachern, Nicole Davis. And what brings you all here today? Uh, I think we got to get rid of the UCP like yesterday, basically. I'm super concerned about people with disabilities and their, their uh, state of being here in Alberta. As a single mom of a, a wonderful daughter who has a disability and considers herself trans, and I work in affordable housing, so lots of concerns from my end. So there's a variety of important issues to you all here. So if any of you had a message for Danielle Smith, what would that message be? There are more of us than you, and you're not going to get away with it. Yeah. Enough is enough, and we're coming to make sure that we take back what's ours. Um, and um, yeah, it's past due, you know, the time is up. I'll agree with both of those statements. <laughs> Fair enough. The next election isn't coming up right away, but are, is there any particular party that you guys feel should be in power instead of the UCP? The party that's going to actually work for the people is the party that needs to be in power, right? Like, there are, people are not doing well in this province. And we need a government that actually cares about the people it's governing, rather than making unilateral decisions that are leaving. 77% of people in homeless encampments have disabilities, yet there's absolutely no supports for them. We can't go on like this. You can't cut homeless encampments and not fund PDD, right? Like PDD? It's, it's, it's staffing for people with disabilities. If you don't qualify, if you don't have the right IQ. And so if you don't have the right IQ, you end up in homeless encampments. And so it's a winning, winning, winning situation for these people. They don't have the income to afford a one bedroom apartment. It's a nightmare. And people are ending are going to end up institutionalized. And we're going to go back to the back to the past, which we can't do. When it comes to um, when it comes to the party that should be in power, at the end of the day, political parties are just vehicles for values and ideas. So I'm in support of democratic expressions like this that bring out hundreds and thousands of people across the province to say enough is enough and to focus on the issues like disability rights, funding for public services like healthcare and education. And whichever party wants to bring that up in that building over there, that's great. But democracy actually happens out here in the plaza and in the streets. But what we know under Danielle Smith and the UCP, they don't believe in democracy. They are working to take it apart, to remove every check and balance to take more power directly for themselves and out of the hands of the people of Alberta. We can't let that happen. I'm here today with? Uh, Robert Wilde. What brings you here today, Robert? Well, everything to do with enough is enough. And what's happening, what's been happening with the UCP ever since they got elected. And actually, this is all <clears throat> part of the long-term conservative government agenda of over the decades. So it's, it, this is, unfortunately, uh, the culm it's still going on and we have to stop it. And so if you had a message for Danielle Smith, what would that message be? Get out of town. <laughs> Fair enough. And, and who do you believe should be in power here in Alberta? Well, right now, Right now, it is the NDP, or any other, and or any other group or coalition that believes in the things that we're talking about here. If your term to you is worth saving, you'd better start swimming, or you'll sink like a stone. The times they are a changing.